recording this at work don't mind the crusty car this is a car i'm borrowing until my car is done but just now i ordered the nardi steering wheel for my car in black and then i ordered the arp main studs for my car so that i can uh, get the motor completely finished and that should be everything i need i do need axles as well <clears throat> and an oil pressure switch but those are all after the fact things, I can get the motor running and I can get the car moving with the things that I just ordered. Um, I haven't told you guys yet, so I don't mind this. I've been washing stuff at work. But I haven't told you guys yet, but I sold the steering wheel and the quick release that were originally in the G35. The black one with the yellow stripe on it. And I am getting an Nardi wheel for it, and that one's going to be hard on it because I plan to do some track driving with the G35, and I don't want a $20 quick release all over the damn place or risking me ripping it off or something stupid because it was so cheap. So I spent good money on a wheel, and it's going to be mounted directly to my hub. It's going to be hard mounted. It will not come off so that if I do some hard track driving, it's just solidly mounted. There's nothing that can break that's cheap. So, also once I get these uh, main studs in, my motor is going to one of my dad's friend's shop. He has all the stuff to complete the engine, which will be very nice. And he has everything to get the piston rings in spec and all the good stuff so that this motor is built 100% correctly and that I don't have to build it again because I really don't want to. But uh, everything that I need is coming. You guys saw I got the full engine rebuild kit. Now I have my main studs and we're good to go. So this should be a very strong, healthy motor, I assume. Um, I do have to still continue tearing down the front wheel drive VQ so I can get the crank and rods out of it. And then we're good. And then we can just start hucking the motor together. So all of my stuff should be here round end of the month so we should be we should be good i'm really excited for it so i'm going to uh show you guys the uh confirmation on the order and stuff now and then we'll continue this video all right guys i'm now off work and i am back into my my office area here uh -huh. maybe i'll just close you guys back into my office area here and i decided to make a video it's 11 06 at night so we're gonna be a little bit quieter but i decided to make a video on uh how much it costs to rebuild your vq35 de non rev up has to be non rev up because i'm pretty sure the rev up price is a little bit more expensive but um this will be everything that you need except for a block and heads. Obviously, we're not building a VQ. We're saying you blew yours up and you need to be. This is everything that I personally am spending to rebuild my VQ. So let's, uh, let's get into everything you need. All right, so first things first is you need yourself, let's move this here, a rebuild kit. This is not the exact rebuild kit that I got. But this comes with, where's my mouse? Every gasket you need, including head gaskets, which is nice. Um, this is all just uh, your, uh, wow, I'm drawing a blank right now. Rear main seal, you know, oil gaskets and everything. Comes with six brand new pistons. Comes with a brand new timing set. Got your water pump. And then you have brand new uh, rod bearings. And then your next step, since this kit doesn't come with them, is main studs. This is this is from uh, Injuku Racing, and this is the cheapest set. Damn it, get out of here! This is the cheapest set that you can buy. These are the ones that I just ended up buying today. And then along with that, excuse me. <coughs> wow. 
along with that, you are gonna get yourself some NGKR spark plugs, which is $63. <clears throat> I forgot to say you guys could read anyways, but these are 185 and you actually end up paying $222 for tax and shipping. So yeah, that kind of sucks, but I'm sure these, no, I'm pretty sure these qualify for free shipping, but after a little bit of tax, I'm sure they're a little bit more expensive, but the, uh, the sad part to me is see how these come August 22nd through 24th. That is when my main studs come <laughs> the exact same time. So these things actually do take quite a while to get here. So that's pretty much everything you need. And I will put a total cost up. Actually, I'll just tell you guys a total cost. So after buying those things, it is $803.64. Now I went a different route. Um, this is if you got like rod knock or something. I spun a bearing, so I needed a new crank. So I just bought another VQ for $250. So you can take that price and just add $250 to it. So it did cost me a little bit more than it might cost a lot of you, unless you also have to go through the same bullshit. But that's pretty much all it costs to rebuild the VQ. But at that price, most times you may as well just buy a new motor, a remand motor for 1500 bucks. Just save a little bit of extra money and get rid of most of the hassle. You don't have to open the motor up. You can sell your blown up one or parts from it for a little bit of extra cash, make some of your money back and you'll be A-OK. -okay. So this is also without labor. This is me doing all of the work by myself and my father. They're, we are not paying for a shop to do any of this. So if you're paying for a shop, you can add more price on top of this and they'll probably just end up giving you a new motor instead of doing a rebuild kit. So that'll cost even more on top of it. Most shops will probably charge you 2,500 to three grand to put a new motor in your car. I'm gonna talk to you guys quick about how much it would cost to uh, build your VQ to make really good, like crazy amounts of power. I'm talking like 500 plus easily. And then, you know, potentially even throw boost at this motor and make crazy amounts. So I'm gonna uh, warn you now, this is way pricier. This is like, this is not balling on a budget. This is like throwing all the money you have out there to make big numbers and possibly boost this motor and make four digit dyno numbers so i'm going to show you guys that quick first we come to this this is the stage 3 z1 motorsports forged internal kit it does come with all of this comes with all your studs it has brand new uh connecting rods pistons piston rings valve cover gaskets just the whole nine yards and that is two thousand five hundred and fifty dollars next we're going to come and we're going to get ourselves some tomei cams for the G35 for the VQ, and that is another $790. And then we're gonna come to Brian Crower. You don't have to do this step, because this, like I said, this is this is going crazy. A billet, fully balanced, forged crankshaft. That is, mm, that is beautiful. That will make you some power. And then on top of that, we're gonna go to Tome and we're gonna get ourselves some good head gaskets. Once we're around yet, Another $162. I did forget to mention, this is $3,691. So I will uh, tell you guys a total after I do my math quick and I'll come back to you. So after all that, it is $7,193.75 before any shipping or any tax. I don't know if those charge any shipping or tax on any of those, but that's, that's a lot of money. And then you still have to go get tuned, which could be another additional $2,000 on top of it, depending upon what tuner you use and what dyno you're on and what they charge hourly for the dyno. So you could be looking at another two grand for that. And that's just insane. That's not even with turbo kit. That's just to build power NA. That's like a max effort NA build, but it will hold boost. Um, it's not something that you can build you know, only NA, 
you can go boost it on this setup and all of these parts are compatible. These are builds I've seen on other uh, Gs and 350Zs. Excuse me, but that's a lot of money. That is a lot, a lot of money. So if you're uh, really looking to make some, some power, that's it. All right guys, like I said, it's still pretty late. We are, it is now 11.18, so this is 12 minutes later. It should be 12 minutes-ish of recording, but this is where I'm going to end the video, and this is where I'm going to give you my now daily advice, because this will be the second day in a row, and my advice is to just block out all the hate. There's people that'll tell you to quit. There's people that'll tell you to give up. It's never worth it. You'll never go anywhere. Don't listen to them. Keep on going. It's, it's, it's really close to what I said last time, but this is more personal. People are gonna tell you to stop, and people are gonna tell you it's not worth it and to give up your dreams, but you just gotta learn to block them out and keep them out of your life. Those kind of people don't need to be in your life. Those are the kind of people that hold you back from being successful and doing the things that you want to do with your life. So just remember, anyone that's hating on your life Cut them off. Gone. Sayonara. Deuces. Because they're not good for you. They're not the kind of people you want in your life. They're not the kind of people you need in your life. I don't care how long you've known these people. If they are doubting your dreams and they're not pushing you to be a better person, you don't need them around. So that is my advice for today. Keep good people in your life.